morning guys as I said I'll be taking you on my little journeys on certain parts of my morning certain parts of my day I just finished a training session with Ashley and here I'm now here on the beach on the west coast of Barbados was known also known as the Gold Coast or the Platinum Coast um, this stretch of beach is where oops I almost fall it's where I used to do my beach walk from the Wave Hotel which is up that side um, the Wave Hotel is actually behind me on this side so we walk this whole beach so I um, further down further down in St. James and we, we, uh, the walk was from the Wave to Crystal Cove um, and on days like this sometimes it starts um, the walk usually starts at 7 and when we are walking around um, a little this time of the year between December to um, April we usually will find some little turtle nests. Uh, right now, I don't think it's um, it's a little too late now in the morning. But as I walk the beach, I'll see what I can find. Sometimes I will pick up some shells and make little necklaces with them and. The guests that did that do the walk, I would actually give them a appreciation necklace. And I would just make it out of um, shells or rocks off the beach. So I'll give you this view, but then you get to see the ocean. So I'm, what I'm going to show you is how wonderful Mother Nature is and how um, during the year the tide at the beaches usually change and it's nothing to do with humans, it's just Mother Nature, that's how it is. As you can see, behind me right now, that's um, all those rocks. That's going to the Wave Hotel. But these rocks here um, are just a part of how the, the tide changes in Barbados because during um, during the May and after May all this is sand. All this is sand. Sometimes you don't even see those rocks. I'll go down a little closer. Sometimes you wouldn't see these rocks, so. And over there is where you see all the sand. Sometimes it's rocky like this. So we're gonna go down a little closer, be careful. And as you can see, all this rocky area that I'm walking on, right behind me, all over here, you can see the, the height of the sand that's where the sand usually is, all up there. But because of, I guess, the change in the, the sea pattern, right now you have, all of this is rock. Usually all of this is sand. And this is actually hidden. So the sand covers all of this. It's kind of amazing. All of this rock you see here right now, the sand covers all of this. And sometimes when I'm doing when I'm doing the walk, the guests have to walk all over this. And um, it's it's nice because I like it. It's like adventurous. So you come to the hotel, you get a nice Sunday morning walk, and I I um, educate them a little about Barbados about 
St. James about Prospect because this area, this area we are at is called Prospect. Prospect in St. James. And um, the, oops, the beach up here, where I'm going right now, I'll give you a little history. This beach up here is called Wire Bay. Um, the reason for the name is that the guy that, that had owned the property um, years ago, I guess he had a fencing company and all down this side, all down this side was wire. If you can see, I'll go back here and show you. If you can see, there's some, there's some poles that's still right here. See? But we can see this. There's some poles. There you go. That's still right here. That when the sand is back here, you don't see these poles. These poles are hidden. So it's only rocky now because, as I said, the, um, the weather pattern, the sea was probably rough yesterday. So we're going to just keep um, going as far as the Wave Hotel. Let's show you guys um, what the Wave Hotel looks like. Um, on the walk, as I said, we sometimes we see turtles, but at this time of the morning, it's kind of too late. You had to come between um, five to about um, seven, seven thirty. The latest I've seen um, turtles is just after seven when we start the walk. We usually find we usually find them in this area. So. All, as you can see, you can see the level of the beach. This is usually the level of the beach right here. See? So you see how much beach has been taken by the water? This is the level of the beach right there. So, as you see, there's sand here, and then it's all rocks. So, as I am walking the guests, I give them a little history about the trees in Barbados. I give them a little history about the birds. Um, actually the whole neighborhood because this neighborhood is where I am originally from. I'm from St. James, from Prospect. I come onto the Richards clan. Um, <laughs> Mahogany Lane. Yeah, that was a name for it. So, behind me here, this is the hotel, Wave Hotel. This is the hotel I do the walk from. We walk from here to Crystal Cove Hotel further down in Derricks in St. James. So this is, this is the hotel right here. And all of this beach, as you can see, is kind of slanted. The water is nice. It's, um, low tide right now and the water is really nice I will show you the hotel again but this is the hotel right here it's a nice it's a nice hotel nice place to stay you guys can come on down it's called the wave hotel so the walk starts from this hotel then we go along the beach straight to straight to crystal cove hotel um, Here is um, actually very nice. So we're just going to give you the beach view. And this beach, as I said, is called Wire Bay. And the walk is usually, the walk will take about, it depends on how, my, how many stops I make to educate the guests about the, um, about Barbados and our culture and as I say different birds, different plants. So this part of Wire Bay where you have it a little rough. This is mostly where the reef the reef is. Over this side here is the reef. So when we were young, we used to um, surf here with some boards. We didn't have the big surf boards, we would just um, take some board, flat board and we do our thing. So this area here, and you can, it's nice for diving. But it's the reef all down this side. 
is the reef all down here. This is good for diving. The further up where you find the hotel is more sand. So that's where you will take your bath. But the guys that like the adventure will. Now um this this mat here, this mat right here, this is a carpet, sorry. This has been here for Lord knows how long because and you only see it when the sand goes and the city is the sand. So you see all this is where the the, the sea came back and take up the sand, take it away. But not to worry because as I said, down in um down further down in the year, all of this, all of this, all of these rocks will be covered by the sand. Now the reason I stop right here, you see this trunk, this tree right here. This tree was blown down. Um, as long as a year, um, um, I think it is, it's Jeanette. The hurricane was it was called Jeanette. So you could Google the hurricane Jeanette when it hit Barbados. So this was one of these trees right here. There were two, and this one was struck down by the hurricane, and it goes straight down in the sea. If the sea had gone back a little more you will actually see the rest of the as the sand had been taken more you actually see the rest of the sand the tree straight down into the water and this has been like that from time Jeanette had blown it down so it's little stories like that that I, I, I um, tell the guests keep them interested as I said a walk is a nice educational walk an informative walk let me use that word and um, one year it was really 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 bad and I wanted to go up the road and walk down to the other hotel but I guess they had these uh, like three little kids and they were excited to walk on the rocks so then we did the rocks it was kind of scary because the rocks are not stable but in the end it was all safe you see Right, so now we're gonna go back over the bridge, over the, the water train, uh, bridge, sorry. So we're gonna go over here, and if you can see, this is a water drain, and it was used years ago to channel the water from up in the hills, up in the higher lands, straight into the sea. But as, you, as things will have it and years go by, people built, built houses on the waterway and that's why you see it like this, on the sand, because the water is blocked so it can't run. That is another story. Okay, now behind me, you see this lovely stretch of beach? This is going into Fitz Village now, but when the tide change again, you will have, I just see the grid, where that guy is walking right now, up there, those are boulders. This whole beach here has boulders to the boat, here, right here. So, the whole beach here has boulders, but right now, as I say, the sand is over here, and the rocks behind me so we're gonna go a little further back down and when I'm, I'm at the beach I would um, teach the I would educate inform the guests about our sea eggs our count our roots our cook our crabs um, morning sometimes I will hold a crab to sh um, show them I will go into the sea I would take up a sea egg to show them and just for them to experience it because a sea egg is a really really wonderful thing during my walks I only come to realize 
that the sea egg is very smart because what the sea egg does, I don't know how to get it do, but they cover themselves with leaves as like a camouflage. They will cover themselves with leaves. And um, so if you're looking for them, you have to know where to look. Most of the time they're out in the open, but the smart ones will cover themselves with leaves. All of here, all of here is usually big bowlers like over there. The big bowlers are all here. Uh, see, all of this here is where the reef are, where the reef is, this, this is bare reef. So this is what I was explaining to you guys, where you have the water course and it's blocked. So you have a lot of that here in Barbados. A lot of people just block the water courses. Some not from here, not from the beach end, they usually block it from higher up and it, it doesn't pass the way it should. So, this here is one of our local churches and the trees that are covered in the churches are called the mulch trees. And I don't know the story behind the reason for the name, but I guess because they grow miles up in the air. And in Barbados, it said wherever you find a church, you will find a rum shop. So, it's like the good and the bad together. So I'm not gonna do the full walk to the hotel, to the other hotel. I will, I will do that in a different part. I just wanted to show you guys part of my routine and how I go about some of my day. And I, I don't know if you guys can see this. I hope you can. But there's a beautiful rainbow right to my left or right, depends on how you're looking at the video. You see it right there? As I go down, try to get it more. Right there. There's a beautiful rainbow right there. See how lovely, how lovely to see here in Barbados is. Awesome. If you can see the two boats, the two ships all in the background. That's where our, our seaport is. That's where our seaport. And before I go, I'll give you guys, actually, you know what? I'll leave that for the second part. I'll just show you it, but I'll leave the story behind it for the second part. Most of you guys that um, Barbadians might know the story behind this or might know the fabricated story. So I'll just show you it but I wouldn't give you the story. I'll leave that for part two of my beach walk, my journey, my introduction or my, yeah, my introduction to you guys on my videos. So that was a little history of my beach walk that I used to do on the Sundays. The next time I will take, actually take the walk from right here and I will go to Crystal Cove. And I will go inside the hotel and I will do a little video to show you guys some of the beautiful hotels in Barbados. Actually, yeah, I will do that and go to the hotels and I will show you the, um, the nice hotels in Barbados. So, as long as the island is open, guys, come on down. We invite you guys to come on down back to Barbados. Come to our lovely beaches, our lovely people, a lot of lovely air, our lovely sun. And I hope to see you guys in Barbados soon. Those of you that live here, come out and enjoy what you have. Don't wait till too late. Let's get up, let's get moving. There's nothing named too old to exercise, or there's nothing named too lazy to exercise it's all about movement just get up get walking just do something watch my videos get some encouragement just get up and walk if you can't find a friend do it on your own 
because at the end of it it's about your mental state and your physical state so come on guys get up let's go let's, let's get moving my name is Pedro Richards follow me on YouTube I love you guys subscribe I'm out of here